What are you? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? <laughs> Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Waiting! Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear! your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world! We've even drawn up the deed already! We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking! Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day. It was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. That's right! It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. And... you were on it! Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then, what you told me in the main hall when this all began... Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. 
two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. Twins? I know, it's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! And together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair! Whoa! She's a totally different person now! Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored with myself! But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? How many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it forced me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Make up whatever answer you want! I don't give a shit! The truth's fucking lame anyway! But... If she was your twin, that means... You killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. For my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause.
She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra, unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her, to meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring! So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected, when Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right! There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance! But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister! How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez! Misunderstandings sure are scary! We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectation! Nope! I felt despair as long as I can remember! Like I never should have been born at all! When I was born, I cried tears of total despair! So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill! We're just those kinds of people! We can do anything! We've always been filled with despair, so when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret! So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? That's why it gets me so... excited. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister, too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else. She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? 
So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. Master's way more perfect. Because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories! Then you can start gloating! Damn straight! That's exactly what we're going to do! We're going to solve all these mysteries! And then... We'll have our victory! <laughs> I can't wait! Alright, then let's just get straight to the point! What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken? And those interviews? It must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance exams! No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things! Do you recall? You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? I got it! The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax! Okay, on to the next question! So... 
was the motive for the third murder! I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? I got it! In her case, it was betrayed. Precisely. You see. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road! But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint! Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us! Okie dokie! Like they say, seeing is believing! I'd like for you to see the outside world! You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? hoo <laughs> hoo hoo! I wanna see too! See your faces sink into despair! <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! 
The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into! Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die! I don't remember! Ain't a fucking excuse no more! Cause now it's time for the final class trial! Bitches, remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? want us to remember or whatever when it comes to that crazy confusing video you I don't understand what's the meaning is this another one of your practical jokes I mean what am I supposed to nobody this is the end for all of us what other choice do we have come on bitches what the fuck happened you want us to when it comes to that crazy con I don't understand what's the meaning is this another one of I mean you're telling us to remember what am I supposed to be remembering if Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other? Sh Come on, bitches! What the fuck? Ha you want us to? When it comes to that crazy, confusing video, I don't understand a damn. Th What's the meaning of? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to. What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody. Can re this is the end for all of us. What other? Sh what choice do we have? Come on, bitches! What the fuck ha You want us to re when it comes to that crazy- I don't understand! What's the meaning? Is this another one of your practical- I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything. Bitches, remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing. I refuse to give up yet!
bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us... I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember, but... What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? Come on, bitches! What the fuck happened? You want us to re- When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember. What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. Shoot! Come on, bitches! What the fuck happened? You want us to. Re when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand. What's the meaning? Is this another one of. I mean, what am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody. I remember anything. Shoot! Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you sh- I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to do? This is the end for all of us! What? Come on, bitches! What the fuck ha- You want us to- When it comes to that crate, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of- I mean, what am I supposed to- Nobody can remember anything. Shoot! Come on, bitches! Remember what the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but... When it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us... I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember, but... What am I supposed to be remembering? Nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us! What other choice do we have? Come on, bitches! What the fuck ha- You want us to re- When it comes to that crate, I don't understand- What's the meaning? Is this another one of- I mean, what am I supposed- Nobody can remember- No, that's wrong! Actually, she might remember. Who might remember? The other token. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko, you're the only one we can rely on I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. That's enough! Just look at the stupid screen! Aye aye, Roger, you got it! Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! 
Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me! I'm the quiet type, you know? Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world! More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? The tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember! With a kiss! Just answer the question! What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event! What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Is... now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself! Tell us everything you know! Copy that, darling! Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago! It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it! I guess you could say what happened was man-made! But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster! Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Morose saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how could the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Gyakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family, hmm? Correct! Well done, peasant! But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Uh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! 
I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it! You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? And now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! How? I... I just... I got it! If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! Something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just surreal. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that! We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome spec! I've never even gone to a sick. This is all just... Sir, what? In two years, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so con two years worth of memory. I could never lose something like that. Shoot! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that.
Shoot! I refuse to give up yet! I could never lose something like that! We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's in I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school- Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... surreal. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so good! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that! You've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any off- I've never even- This is all just us! It felt freaking old- <laughs> Everyone go! I could never lose something like that! Shoot! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. Shoot! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's a. I mean, I haven't gone to any. I've never even gone to. This is all just. Plus. In two years, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone go! Two years worth of I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years. Hell no! That's impossible. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events, or heck, I've never even gone to a single class. This is all just surreal. Plus, in two years, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone go! Two years worth of I could never lose some- We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any off- I've never even gone to a single class! Shoot! Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that! We've been living here for two- Hell no! That's a- I mean, I haven't gone to any- Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! No, that's wrong! Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt! But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No. No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! <laughs>